Hi, I'm Annette Norberg. I'm the skip of the Swedish curling team. I started curling when I was 10 or 11 and I started because my parents uh, played curling and they just took me to the curling arena. They played and, and I traveled with them when I was uh, quite small. Bra, bra. When I was growing up my sporting heroes were, was uh, Bjorn Borg in tennis and Ingmar Stenmark in downhill skiing. Come in! Come in! Come in! Come in! Come in. Come in. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> What I love about curling is the team thing. You do things together and it's both a physical part and there's a lot of tactics and uh, of course I, I like the different kind of experiences that I had because of curling. My favorite moments in curling is uh, actually two and it's uh, winning the Olympic gold, both in Torino and, and in Vancouver, and they are both very special to me. Actually, I don't know what I like about <laughs> being a skip. <laughs> I like have the strategical thinking about the game, and, and I like to have the communication with the player. And I like to make the players as good as possible, trying to adjust everything to make it as good as possible for them. Actually, I, I have achieved everything in, in, in terms of, of medals, so what I enjoy right now is trying to get those three young girls into the game and try to, to learn them all the things I've, I've learned during the year. So. But of course we are going for Sochi in three years, so that's the next medal, big medal gold. <laughs> My funniest moment in curling, I think, was before the world's final in, I think it was 2006. Uh, when my teammate Anna decided to take a um, suntan the day before the final and uh, she just went there for uh, a few minutes, but it was very strong. And uh, the morning when she woke up before the final, she actually couldn't move because her body was all red and, and the skin was so sore, she even couldn't know if she could slide. So afterward, it's, it's very funny, but right there it was, we, we were thinking about the headlines at home telling, telling media what happened when she couldn't play. <laughs> Uh, but we didn't have to do that.